Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman and I'd like to quickly go through this new camera from Sony. This is the PXW X70. Now, it looks very similar to Sony's AX100 camera, but it's actually very, very different. It does have some similarities, but the ergonomics of this camera are quite different. The hand grip here, the whole shape of this hand grip has been completely changed over the AX100. And what that means is that when you hold the camera, your thumb falls just here on this little joystick and you can control the menus of the camera completely from this little joystick here. So you never have to take your hand out of the hand grip. Just on the top of the hand grip just here, there's a button for focus magnification. So you need to check your focus. You can just press this with your finger again while you're holding the camera a bigger zoom rocker so it's much easier to use and then a little button here at the front which is a one push exposure button you just hit this button and it will set the aperture of the camera to set your exposure uh, absolutely correct and then it just locks it in that position so it's a really easy camera to use very quick very fast because you can just holding the camera with your hand in the hand grip access all of those key controls immediately I can hold the camera like this access the zoom button here, zoom rocker here, aperture with my little finger here, joystick on the back here for the menu and my record buttons there. So I can completely control the camera really with just one hand and that makes it very fast and easy to use. Coming around to the other side of the camera, um, under here we have the menu button that brings the menus on and off and a little scroll wheel here. Now this wheel controls your exposure three buttons here for iris, shutter and gain and whichever one of these buttons you press this wheel controls that setting. On the back of the camera just here a little hard to see there's a switch for the ND filters so the camera has built-in ND filters and the ND filters allow you to control your depth of field. If you use a lot of ND with a large aperture to get a decent exposure you'll have very shallow depth of field and that gives you a very filmic look but if you're trying to shoot something where you need a lot of depth of field, where there's lots that you need in focus at the same time, switch out the ND filters, use a smaller aperture, and you'll have a much deeper depth of field. So it gives you really good control over the style of the pictures. Because the sensor on the camera is a 4K sensor, the image is very, very sharp. So even when you're shooting in HD, the image is really crisp and really clear, but because it's starting in 4K, it, the camera doesn't have to apply a lot of extra enhancement or other corrections to make the picture look nice. It just simply looks nice and that helps it look a bit more film-like because it isn't over enhanced, isn't over sharpened. And we also have, if I just flip this open, little button we can press in here for picture profiles and we can actually, if you want, tailor the look of the image, make it, so make it a bit softer, make it a bit sharper, change the gamma curve, change the colors to get the exact pictures that you want directly from this camera. Another difference over the AX100 is in here we have two recording slots so we can put two SDXC cards in here. You can either record simultaneously to both cards, so if you need a backup or if you need to give one card to a client while you keep one for yourself, or you can do relay recording where it records on one card when that card's full, goes onto the, onto the other card. So if you're filming an event that goes on for many hours, you can very easily do that with this camera. So really a lot of major improvements over the AX100. So that's Sony's new PXW X70 XD Cam, uh, XAVC camcorder, 50 megabit, long gop, 10 bit 422. Really high quality recordings. Really like this camera, it's very nice.